Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am Anshika and it would be really great if you take out a moment and subscribe to my channel below and hit that bell icon because uh, it will give you a notification every time I upload a new video. So today's video is uh, like a talkative video and I would be telling you how to travel in budget or budget traveling and tips to travel under like 5000 rupees let's say and uh, I will provide you with various sources from where you can do the booking for cheap traveling and you can save a lot of money and you can travel more so let's get started I have divided this video into three major groups so the first one is those who want to travel for free almost free of course and uh, the second one is those who can compromise on some of their comfortable living and uh, want to travel more but not opt for free traveling and the third one is comfortable traveling those who want to travel and they can also afford so you can also follow me on instagram i will link somewhere on the screen here uh, and you can see all my travel photos and uh, like skincare and beauty blog photos there and uh, now let's get started so the first one is transportation like when we plan a trip the first thing that comes into the mind is transportation it's very essential to choose the right uh, type of transport because it can be really like it can take up a lot of time and sometimes usually people are not so comfortable with other type of traveling so I would tell you in the first tire that if you want to travel for free and you have a lot of time what you can do is hitchhiking so hitchhiking is basically lift magna kisi se bhi I know in India it is not so famous and not so like um, what do I say safe for girls uh, even for boys but if you are comfortable in that and you have a lot of precautionary measures with you and you trust the driver or it also depends on whom you are taking lift from so it would be really great for you firstly it will save a lot of money of your traveling you tend to meet a lot of new people and also this is kind of traveling which is uh, very slow but also uh, it will give you a like nice experience of the culture and the places that you are going to visit so the second option uh, I would prefer is uh, sleeper trains uh, I know trains can be expensive too like AC tires but if you are traveling for a long journey and you are traveling like off season and it's not so hot you can opt for a sleeper train they are very comfortable and also uh, like you can keep your luggage uh, safely and you can travel just within the right time in a sleeper strain so it is a great option if you can offer or if you're looking for a slightly comfortable kind of traveling then you can opt for uh, AC trains and flights for sure domestic flights are now as cheaper as AC trains so you can obviously go for flights and the connectivity in India is really good so I would highly recommend uh, trains if you're traveling from one city to another city and if you're traveling within the city I would suggest to take a local bus because they know how to uh, drive on hills better than those of Delhi or Gurgaon drivers so that would be really great if you can do a local uh, bus so uh, when I went to Manali we took a local bus for like 20 rupees and it we used to travel like six to seven kilometers in that every day which was very very cheap and affordable and we had to like we saved a lot of money out of traveling like transportation and then utilize the money on to great food which is like really great also there is one option of Volvo um, buses but uh, Volvo buses sometimes uh, are as expensive as trains so if you are looking for places where trains are not available like high altitudes then you can opt for Volvo buses and there are really great options on redbus.com you can log, log in and book your buses in advance they have a specific time duration in which they reach so it is really great if you have less time and you want to travel more so another great option that I would prefer is uh, hiring a scooty or a bicycle if you're traveling within the city like if you go to hills or like Goa or anywhere you can just hire a bicycle as low as 100 rupees per day or a scooty that will cost you around from 200 to 300 rupees if you know how to like ride a scooty then it's really great it helps you to explore uh, the places within that city really well also you can be your own master and drive wherever you want to you don't need to have to wait for any kind of 
buses or any kind of transportation to reach from one place to another so in goa we hired a scooty for uh, 200 rupees per day uh, the petrol was for like we had to fill in the petrol so that is extra but 200 rupees was really great to tra- travel like 4 5 kilometers uh, for every destination so it's really really good so the second point comes is the accommodation it is very important i would highly suggest that everyone should plan their trip well in advance and book all the hotels or hostels they are looking for in advance rather than going to the place and then searching first of all it consumes a lot of time second of all uh, you are not sure if you are looking for a safe place to stay stay so i would highly suggest that you take uh, the accommodation in advance so i prefer booking.com and secondly oyo rooms i would not recommend make my trip uh, as of now because uh, make my trip charges a lot of taxes which are invalid like the same hotel you can get on the other website for lower prices so i don't get the point of booking from make my trip so i usually go to booking.com and reserve my property in advance and pay at the hotel or what i do is i see all the hotels that are good for me on booking.com and then go to the registered official website of that hotel call up the agent or the receptionist and then book a hotel so that is also one great thing so recently i stayed in ginger tree resort which seems like a very high fi resort like a four star or five star with all the facilities but we got that just for 1000 rupees or 1500 rupees per night in that resort for like two people and we were so many so we booked a lot of rooms and it costed us so less that all of our cost from flight that we spent was compensated with the accommodation and food so that was really great so that you can do and uh, if you want to travel in a uh, like very budget or free then you can opt for couch surfing there is an app called couch surfing you can go there and book your uh, stay so uh, what happens is in couch surfing there are uh, many host that give you free accommodation but they won't guarantee you if you are getting a couch or a sofa or a bed to sleep if you are comfortable with that or you are traveling solo then this is the perfect option for you so tend to get a uh, uh, experience of how the local people stay so that is one great thing and the second tier who is like uh, they can compromise a little bit on the stay then they can opt for hostels and hostels which are like so popular in in india right now in goa in uh, man ali at any hill station is so popular you can get a bed from 100 rupees to 500 rupees which is really really cheap for one night and you can stay there it's comfortable you tend to meet a lot of new people and foreigners also uh, opt for this option because it's very cool and then people who want to uh, like don't want to compromise then i told you that the third option is booking a hotel or a homestay or an airbnb you can take that too now airbnb is becoming so popular in india and it's everywhere and you can get it for as cheap as 1000 rupees per night and they are really good to stay now the third uh, important thing is food uh, now uh, most of my money uh, i spend while traveling is on food so it's very crucial to look what you're eating and uh, also get the culture taste um, so i would suggest if you're looking for a free travel or travel in really tight budget then you can go to gurudwaras uh, they serve free meals or you can also opt for dhabas they have so cheap food and so tasty you can go there and if you're looking to travel but you don't uh, like you can compromise on some of the uh, luxury then you can opt for street foods and vans and i would highly suggest that you take a very very heavy breakfast when you are on your vacation so that you consume your whole day uh, like traveling and seeing new places and then take a heavy dinner so heavy breakfast and heavy dinner skip the lunch and you will be saving money as well as you will be satisfied with your meals if you are eating again and again while traveling it can bloat your stomach and also you can feel pain while running or hiking anywhere so this is uh, one thing that i would suggest and the third is you also you uh, if you don't want to compromise you can anyway go to an good restaurant or a cafe and explore the culture and food really well so that is one thing 
and also people who know how to cook or living in a homestay or an airbnb can get food and cook themselves that will save you a lot of money and you can utilize those for ad other adventure sports if you're going somewhere where they for example if you're going to bear billing the paragliding is so famous that you can spend that money which you have saved on such adventures so i would also uh, say that uh, if you are planning to visit anywhere and something is very pro popular then you should not compromise on that and you should experience that because that will give you a lifetime of memories and uh, it's like you you will overcome your fears if you have any kind of height fear or like water fear so it's really good for that so guys if you keep all of these points in your mind you can travel for like 2000 rupees till 5000 rupees and you'll uh, you'll be like going for a very good vacation or a trip uh, so rishikesh will only took take up like 2000 rupees if you keep all of these points in your mind and uh, any place where uh, which is like 500 kilometers away would take around 4000 to 5000 which is very cheap and i would also suggest one website that is trifolia.com if you're going for a trek or a hike i would suggest that you book your slots in advance and go with a guide rather than just planning it all alone because it can be sometimes dangerous so that is one thing to keep in mind otherwise for uh, if you're planning for a trip i won't suggest that you take a agent's help or something you just plan your itinerary yourself at your own pace at your own time and your own comfort that would be very very important and great for your uh, journey so keep in mind that your bu budget do not cross from 1000 rupees per day like from 500 to 1000 including inclusive of transportation the food and the accommodation and also the sports if you are doing some so this is the golden rule that you have to be patient while traveling you have to be brave and traveling is really time consuming so you have to have a lot of time and uh, do not worry about your work stress anymore if you are on a vacation and if you're located outside india and if you want to travel here then you can contact on my website named tourlicious.com i will also link that in the description box below you can do any kind of booking after this quarantine or this corona goes away and would be happy to assist you in all the bookings and the itineraries so you can go ahead and check out my website tourlicious.com which has a lot of packages for all over india if you like this video then don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and i would be making such more videos and i would be uh, if you want me to create a video on how to travel in budget to goa then you can uh, obviously comment down below or dm me on instagram and i will be happy to do, do that for you as well so until next time bye